So it just occurred to me that I should react to something that will end up being thrilling entertainment. Um, in years past, well, especially with the movies, I would be very excited for Oscar nominations and Golden Globe nominations and SAG Awards and BAFTAs and independent film. And what did I say? I was going to say IFP. But then I said independent film. You get the idea. Spirit Awards. All that stuff. And I'd be very excited. Over the years, of course, things have moved to streaming. There's too many channels. So I don't think that I've been in lake or lined up with um, the Emmy nominees for a long time. I hardly ever see any of them. So I'm going to... Stupid thing. I'm going to react to today's Emmy nominations. Because that should be a hoot. So let us see. Okay, here it goes. Please welcome Television Academy Chairman and CEO, Frank Sherma. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us for the 73rd Emmy Awards nominations announcement. Nominations announcements are always exciting for us at the Television Academy. This when they started they making these things and they're going to tell you stories and everything, it's like, in television the most it was better when it was just like a I press conference or they just stood at a podium. And, and all the amazing yeah. program that carried us through. Everything's Thanks manufactured now. By so many professionals from every trade in television, we can celebrate the stories, the jokes, tender moments, news, and pure fun from the last year that provided a lifeline for so many of us. And while many of I really us didn't, I mean, I didn't have the money to do a bunch of streaming things, so it wasn't really a lifeline for me. So YouTube was. I watched a lot of YouTube. Making great television is a collaborative group effort where the sum equals more than the parts. And I can't tell you how much I've missed it. I watched a couple of shows on like occasion. NBC or whatever. Even though we still manage to deliver all our events to our membership and industry virtually, we are thrilled that getting together in person is on the horizon once again. Virtual He's talking for a long time. This some um, Sherman was his name, Sherma. But I am ready to celebrate excellence in television face to face. To help us get this party started, our oh, two let's get this party started. Emmy history in 2020. They are the only duo around to win matches. I didn't even know there were Emmy nominations Emmy coming. In the same year. I had the morning news on this morning. I didn't hear them mention it. This everything is is reconfigured. What's important and what's not. What we acknowledge and what we don't. And we are so excited to have them announce the nominations for the 73rd He just Emmy went Awards. on for a long time. I'm Coming already just three State, minutes of me recording, so. Blind spotting on stars, Jasmine Cephas Jones, and here in the studio. I don't know who Jasmine. The Apple TV Plus series, Truth Be Told, Ron Cephas Jones. Okay, I was so like, wait a minute. I know the name Cephas Jones. Incredibly blessed this Because he was such an honor the dad on This Is hey, Us. Hey, what's going on, sweetheart? Okay, so that's his hey, Dad. daughter. Hi, okay. So great to be here. You know, I don't like nepotism, but I guess nepotism and nominating people or nomination announcement shouldn't be a problem. Dad, okay, you promised you wouldn't embarrass me, okay? Oh, skits. This is not necessary. Oh my God. No. <laughs> Just stand at the podium with the paper, read it, sit down, let the other person come up, read it, sit down, let the other person come up, read it, sit down. It takes like five minutes, but no. Oh wow. And you know, they're still going. Looks up to your Emmy very much. She already has an Emmy. I don't know who she is. Wait a minute. Which one? Because I have two. Oh. Oh. Okay. So you flex it now. Yeah, yeah. You know how we do, Jones in. Okay, Jones in. Okay, I see. Well. Okay, now it paused. It buffered. In a couple of months, a bunch of today's nominees will get their very own Emmy to humble brag about. Oh, humble brag. They use the word humble brag. It's so exciting. All right, Dad. Well, let's get started. Do it. You the boss. Yeah, let's, let's do it. <laughs> let's go. Okay, our first category is for Outstanding Variety Talk Series. Here are the nominees. Conan. I haven't been able to watch Conan since he was on. What was he on? TNT, TBS. But he just ended. So, give Conan awards. The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. 
you want to keep never wearing. watched Trevor Noah on the Daily money. Show. I understand that. As someone who owns 743 hoodies, I'm wearing these things. Jimmy Kimmel Live. Oh, Biden is our well, that was hilarious president. about the hoodies. It feels like I, have to I used to like Jimmy Kimmel, like but you know, calls and tells you the tumor is benign. everything last changed last election John season. Oliver. I like the time John Oliver canceled people's debt. The late show Other than that, Colbert, really, I've Steve never Colbert. really watched his show. He used to like Colbert way back in the day, not once he decided to be a huge divider of our country. Congratulations to the nominees for so please give that to Conan, if he cares. I don't think he does. Our next category He's been through enough. <laughs> he knows better. Competition program. Here are the nominees. The Amazing Race. The Amazing Race. You know how much I used to love that show in the beginning? I must have watched three or four seasons and then I just stopped. Nailed it. I don't know what nailed it is. I've never watched, I've never had enough cable to watch RuPaul's Drag Race because by the time they started coming on, I didn't have all that cable. Top Chef, chef not interested. Have Haven't seen it. I don't even know what channel it's on. Is it on a normal channel? Hate the voice. <laughs> I just their their banter. We're not playing baseball. We're in a vocal competition. Hi. So bad. Congratulations to the outstanding competition program nominees. What do we have next? I wonder how many no, Emmys the Amazing Race has. Lead actress in a comedy series, and they are. Lead actress in a comedy series. Ada Bryant, Shrill. Ada Bryant, Shrill. I don't know. I know who Ada Bryant is. I don't know what Kayla Shrill is. Cuoco, I didn't see attendant. Kayla Cuoco in the flight attendant. Allison Janney. Allison Janney. Mom. Been on Mom. Tracy Ellis Ross. Blackish. I've never watched Blackish. <laughs> Jean Smart. Jean Smart. Hacks. I have no idea what Hacks is. But obviously, she's the best actress in that. Well, her and Allison Janney, but Allison Janney's got more awards, so whatever. Give that to Jean Smart. And now here are the nominees for outstanding lead actor in a comedy series: Anthony Anderson, Blackish. Never watched Blackish, like I said. Michael Douglas, The Kaminsky Method. Didn't watch the Comiskey Method. William H. Macy, Shameless. Never watched Shameless. Now, how long has that been on? That's been on a long time. Jason Sudeski's. <laughs> she said Jason Sudeski's. Keenan Thompson. <laughs> That's Keenan. A, he's a pretty famous name. Keenan. These now, I think I watched an episode of Keenan. That Don Johnson was on that with series. him, right? I don't know. Keenan deserves a award. Comedy series. Let's check them out. Jason Stakey's. <laughs> you got your heart. You don't mean that. No, I don't. Let me hear it. Go, go. Hey. Oh, this is outstanding comedy series. I should have watched Cobra Kai. I didn't because I used to want to marry Ralph Macchio when I was in sixth grade, and I just didn't. So I'm a bad person. I can't want. I don't know what Emily in Paris is. I can't sit and get into TV shows anymore. So this is why it's entertaining to me that I'm doing this. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what Hax is. She's standing there. And, okay. I've heard of the flight attendant, but. Hung over in Thailand. The Kaminsky method. Well, Sandy, sweetheart. I just didn't watch any. I never fell out of love with you. Really? No. Ten fifteen. <sighs> That's good. She no, breathed no, on her no, now. No, if I breathe no, on you right no, now, it smells like garlic because I put garlic stuff. powder in my mashed now, potatoes for lunch just now. I have not seen Ted Lasso. Jason Sudeikis. <laughs> I'm going to laugh at that for a while. Congratulations That's to eight all the nominees. Do they even season. have a rule on how many nominees? Let's see who the nominees are for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Limited or Anthology Series or a Movie. Lead Actor in a Limited Paul or Bettany. Anthology Series or Movie. Paul Bettany, WandaVision. 
and watch more. I haven't subscribed to the Disney undoing. Plus. I hated the undoing. I saw that. I reviewed it. It was the worst thing ever. You and McGregor Halston, you know? I didn't even know that came out. I knew he was supposed to play Halston. Hamilton. But I didn't know. I, I didn't watch Hamilton. I should watch it. Leslie Odom Jr. Hamilton. Congratulations to the nominees for Oh God. I mean, I like Hugh Grant, but and that's the only thing I saw. There's no way in hell. I'm not saying he sucked or anything, but that series was so freaking awful. Oh my God, it was so bad. This is why I don't watch TV, because when I do, I may destroy you. Never heard of I may destroy you. Cynthia Arivo, genius Aretha. Cynthia Rebo already Olsen. played Aretha. I didn't know that happened already. No, no wonder. Anne Taylor Joy, the Queen's, the Gambit. Queen's Gambit. Didn't watch it. Kate Winslet, Mayor of They're East. saying these people's names wrong a lot. I would have watched Mayor of Easton if I had it. In a limited or anthology series or movie. I didn't. Congratulations. Everybody. I only got HBO Max for the one month because I wanted to. I was curious. I wanted to see the Snyder Cut. So up, I think the Undoing. That's why how I saw the Undoing because it was on then. Series. It was there. Here they are. I may destroy you. Where were we? Outstanding oh, limited or Rules. anthology series. The I may destroy you. To Never heard of it. I need a snack. We will show you exactly what we mean. Oh, man. By violation. I think there's candy away. in my Mayor purse. East Town. Including you? No, I won't let you. Mayor of East Town, was she like a detective or Queen's something? Gambit. I don't know. The Underground Railroad. Anya Taylor Joy. Now, I liked her in a couple movies, but I don't know. The what Underground Railroad. railroad only special folk can take it. Wanda Vision. My wife for the flying saucers. My husband and his indestructible head. Congratulations to the nominees for Outstanding Limited or Anthology Series. So this is why I knew this was going to be entertaining. I've seen lead one thing, I think, series. right? And they are. Uzo lead actress in a drama series. Treatment. Never saw in treatment. Now these Olivia are old Coleman, shows. I know they're old the shows. Crown. Never saw Olivia Coleman in the Crown. Corrin, the Crown. I don't even know who Emma Corrin is. Elizabeth Moss, The Handmaid's Tale. Never watched The Handmaid's Tale. M. J. Rodriguez, Pose. Nope, not Pose. Journey Thanks. Smollett, Lovecraft Country. Oh, there's more people. Journey Smollett, Lovecraft Country. These are the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series. And now, here are the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. Sterling K. Brown, This Is Us. This Is Us, I've seen. I like Sterling K. Brown enough. Jonathan Majors. I haven't watched Lovecraft it lately. Country. Jonathan Majors, I have not seen Lovecraft Country, but I really Josh liked um, The, the Last Black Man in San Francisco. And I reacted to a trailer Ready, for something Page. coming up that looks good. Bridgerton. Did not see Bridgerton. Billy Porter, Pose. Didn't see Pose. Matthew Reese, Perry, Perry Mason. Mason. Just the whole idea that they were remaking Perry Mason, I was like, what? These are the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actor in I a Drama Series. I don't like the old Perry Mason, and it's, I leave everyone. it on sometimes on me TV in the middle of the night. Congratulations. Okay, here's our final category for the morning. Final category. Outstanding Drama Series. Here are the nominees. Outstanding Drama Series. The boys. The boys. I almost watched that <laughs> once. Once. Bridgerton. There is nothing you cannot do. Yeah, that Bridgerton stuff ain't for me. Neither is the crown. I'm not the crown. Into fancy English. Times can this family make the same mistake? Paying the consequences each time. The handmaid's tale. I mean, I saw the movie The Hands Made Tale years ago, so then they, they were like they were going to make a series out of it. I was like, I don't know. I mean, is Lovecraft Country about H.P. Lovecraft books? Oh, The Mandalorian was nominated. Look at that. But didn't they fire Gina Carano for nothing? So 
they're gonna let her go with the cast so that she can stand on stage with them if they win this is us I want them I stopped watching this is us when Toby wouldn't die I don't like Toby so I don't know what's happened since then occasionally you get the gist of it from just seeing commercials but and of course so that was the end. The Look at how entertaining that was. You can find the full <laughs> list of nominees online at it was 15 minutes. I sure guess I'll edit this together. It could be hilarious. Maybe not. I, mean. I hope there's another trailer for something Saturday, decent that I could react to. I don't feel Sunday, bad about not seeing September all this stuff. I'll feel bad about not going to the movies, but... It's a new Thank world. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. And have a great day, everyone. Sweetheart, this has been a joy. I'm, I'm, I can't even begin Just to stop crying yeah, right now. Them but, too. Uh, I love you very much. You are so beautiful. And I will see you on the flip side. I will see you on the flip side too. Everybody so in much. media, they're just all about themselves now. Themselves, their family their issues that's what you see on the news that's what you see on anything whatever it's all about how about them not about what's entertaining not about oh here's my stuff look at my stuff oh here's my house look at my house oh here's my kids look at my kids whatever <laughs>